Hello and welcome to this amazing video. I recorded for like last 10 seconds and I decided and I realized that this was not recording, the audio was recording, but then again, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. We are going to talk about something called money numbers over here. Six money numbers we need to know while pricing. So this is something that I've learned, picked up with experience over a period of time where, uh, where when I used to pitch my products back in the day for like 2000 rupees, what used to happen is like I, I used to pay uh, GST from my pockets. Like though I was like, hey, I'm paying 2000, I'm getting 2000 rupees, cool then what used to happen is like i should i was a that 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 was the whole amount that i was getting that was not the income i was assuming that was that that number was my revenue uh, that that number was my revenue plus income but then that wasn't the case i had to pay gst on that one i had to pay this i had to pay that it's like okay the what is the actual money that i want to get out of when i'm getting the whole number is 2000 rupees probably 1000 1000 300 rupees was getting into my back and I was like I was so sad by that one so these these six things is something that we need to know when we are pricing I, mean, I, I did a similar one similar video on this one back in the day I don't know what exactly I've covered just search for it money strategies you will find that video so when we need to be linked we are going to talk about six by the way thank you so much for joining in welcome to this one video first point we are going to talk about we need to be respecting the time and efforts that we are going to give into the products that we create because if we see the results that we're going to give to people that matters the results that people are going to get that's going to change the whole life stretch if you are into calligraphy if you're into work course, if you're into fitness if you're into yoga if, if you're into anything your courses are going to change the whole mindset of your clients of your students that's, that's going to change so we need to be respecting the experience that we've got we need to respect the expertise that we've got we need to be respecting the efforts that were that were built or created while creating that one course. So one was we, we, we are going to talk about numbers. Last three are the numbers part of it. Three more on the top three are kind of the mindset part of it. The second part, the second one when the money, the number, the money number that we need to be doing is the market value. So you cannot, market value is more on the lens of will people, the price that you are, you are keeping for the people, is that something the market value for the day? example you want to buy power banks i was doing research on power banks uh, we've got like a thousand rupees two thousand rupees three thousand rupees four thousand rupees for ten thousand em image if you're charging like twenty thousand rupees that's going to that's not going to make sense to me if you are if you have like ferrari company selling power bank for twenty thousand rupees fifty thousand rupees that's a difference to altogether but then we need to be doing what can be the market price what is the current price going on inside the market so that's second point of it third point even time and efforts knowing the market value the third and the most important piece of the whole puzzle for me is are the people good is will people afford your product are people in a position to afford your product because you can like see when you apply strategies tactical part of it to people they're definitely going to buy but then you need to be thinking whether they are actually in that state to buy like if you're pitching for say five thousand rupees or ten thousand rupees Ten thousand rupees to a student who's like who's in like tenth grade, they are not in authority of making decisions. They need to be asking permission and stuff like that. So you need to be thinking and and even when you when you're when someone is making a good amount of money, when you're pitching ten ten thousand rupees, that's you degrading or probably devaluing, not respecting your own work efforts. So we need to be knowing who we are talking to, based on who we are talking to, is where we can set the price point. So there are three things. The fourth, fifth, and sixth one are going to be slightly shorter, but then and we are we are going to, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be shorter. The fourth and the most important point when you're pricing, you need to be thinking about the GST part of it. Cool. I, there was like this debate going in a couple of months back. I watched on TV where people who are doing who it was a debate to and fro sort of a debate. Uh, people were who were in support of webinars and workshops. There were people who were against webinars and workshops and. The whole conversation was here, here and there. But then something that <clears throat> these the people who were against the webinars and workshop, they asked one question to these people. It's like, do you have GST? And all of them who are making good money, good impact, benefiting people, have got like thousands of students, they said no to GST. They did not have GST. They were not under a government body. And if you're not under a government body, you get cornered very easily. So we need to be having GST no matter what business you're on online you need to be enrolling and getting that GST certificate and creating a proper company where people don't come against you, point number one. And when you're pricing, you need to be also thinking, okay, if I'm charging 5,000 rupees, 18% is going for GST. Now, do you want to include it inside the pricing, inside 5,000 or is it excluding the the 5,000? So like, are you paying from your pockets or are people are going to pay? So like, 
5000 plus 500 rupees that's going to be a 5000 plus 5000 plus 1000 rupees that's going to be 18 percent of it 5000 plus 800 is going to be 5000 plus 800 is going to be gsg so are they paying 800 extra or are you calculating and taking off 800 rupees or probably 750 rupees within the 5000 so you need to be knowing that the second thing is which nobody talks about a very subtle uh, cost that you're going to incur is the fifth point when you're using payment gateways they are going to charge two percent of the transaction that's being made with every transaction that's you have, that you're going to make you're, they are going to charge you two percent of it and they are also going to charge you six point is they are going to charge you gsc of 18 percent on that two percent this was something i got to know a month back literally a month back I mean, and th- I'm in this world for like three years, literally a month back. Cool. So uh, when we talk about fee that they, they, they charge for two percent, they they don't hide anything. They're telling you upfront. But what happens is we don't see all those things as happening. We was like, I want the whole money, but then it's like, okay, I charge five thousand, but I got X Y Z amount, which is not five thousand rupees. It's like a huge difference. Was was so mad here. So we need to be thinking about these things. Now, uh, one hanger I'm going to give you when you are doing the test transactions very important part of it so this is towards the end of it like most of most of the people who have started the video anyway did not finish the video so it's like filter out for you this is for you this is something that i've learned from experience when generally what we when we are testing the payment pages payment gateways payment qr and stuff like that generally the test amount that we do is the product amount that we have or we are charging a thousand rupees we are charging we are swapping our own cards or we are charging it for a hundred rupees. Now think about it. They are going to take you. They, they are going to take two percent of every transaction that we make. So even your test transactions, they are going to take money. So you need to be actually thinking of what is the test amount. So what I started to do is whenever I'm doing the test uh, test oh. thing, I really need to I just bring it for any price. It's a test amount, right? So it's like I don't have to charge ten thousand rupees for myself. Like that's some stupidity. I'm going to pay two thousand rupees. What I'm going to pay like two percent of it to the payment transaction for a test. No, I'm not stupid. What we are going to do is what I do is bring down any amount to bare minimum that they're charging. Example, a rupee. Now you charge two percent from that one. You charge GST eighteen percent on that two percent. I'm happy with that because it will go in paisa, like point zero zero point. 0.25 or something like that, it will go in those de- de- decimals, which is completely cool. So, this was something which is very micro, nobody talks about this one because most of them are not even aware of this one. So, this was the moon essence of it. So, these are the numbers that you need to be known. The next video that I'm going to record is going to be Should my courses be inclusive or exclusive of GSD? I'm going to cover that short topic over there as well. Again, it's going to be a shorter video. So, that brings us to the conclusion of this one. You see, these are things that I think we should all know in. The online world because most most people are not aware of it most people are doing tests just like to doing test amounts of like 100 rupees 1000 rupees sometimes 5000 rupees don't do those mistakes so there's like one travel bloggers i'm kind of following lately and they said like we make the mistakes so that you don't make the mistake so i'm going to say that to you as well it's like i made mistakes you don't so that you don't make the mistakes so that is the video because i'm going this one video thank you so much for peace and peace like on you and your lovers this video by the way was recorded on 5th 1st of july 2022 wave of the six months starts today thank you so much with the mail thanks so much